Hi guys, welcome back to one of my exciting adventures. Have you ever wondered where the water in your glass came from or where the rain that falls from the sky originates? Let's embark on a fascinating journey to discover the incredible cycle of water that sustains life on Earth. Our journey begins with evaporation. When the sun heats up water bodies like oceans, lakes, and rivers, the water molecules gain energy and transform into water vapor. This invisible vapor rises into the atmosphere. As the water vapor rises, rises higher into the atmosphere, it cools down. This cooling causes the water vapor to condense, forming tiny water droplets or ice crystals. These tiny particles gather together to create clouds as a process of condensation. When the water droplets or ice crystals in clouds become too heavy, they fall back to earth as precipitation. Precipitation can take many forms including rain, which is soft liquid water droplets that fall gently from the sky, snow, which is frozen water crystals that fall as delicate flakes, sleet, which is frozen raindrops that partially melt as they fall through the atmosphere, and hail, frozen balls of ice that form in thunderstorms and can be quite large and damaging, and drizzle, a light steady rain composed of very small droplets. As precipitation comes down, plants absorb the water committing a crucial role in the water cycle as well. Through a process called transpiration, plants release excess water into the atmosphere through tiny pores on their leaves. This adds significant amounts of water vapor to the air. Some of the water that doesn't reach or gets absorbed by the plants, that precipitation may follow two paths. Runoff, which occurs when water flows over the land into rivers, lakes, and oceans. And the other path is where infiltration happens when water seeps into the ground, replenishing groundwater supply. Groundwater is water that has been infiltrated into the ground and collected in underground layers called aquifers. These aquifers store vast amounts of water that that can be accessed through wells. This is a way for us to access fresh water. The water cycle is a continuous process that has been happening for millions of years. It's a vital system that ensures the availability of water, a precious resource essential for all life on Earth. By understanding the water cycle, we can appreciate its importance and work to protect our planet's water resources. Thanks for watching one of my exciting adventures. Please subscribe, like, and share, and be tuned for my next video.